To get started with your new Ultra Boost, first download the Ultra Boost app from the App Store or Google Play. At this stage, also ensure that your phone's Bluetooth is turned on. Once downloaded and installed, open the Ultra Boost app and you'll be presented with the home screen. Here you have four main sections Device Manager, Mode, Display, and Information. By default, when you open the app, you are already in the Mode Selection tool. We'll get back to this once we've set up a few things. Starting with the Device Manager, let's connect your mobile phone to the Ultra Boost unit. In the top right of the screen, click Add Device. Searching via Bluetooth, your Ultra Boost device will appear in the list. Select your device and start pairing it to your phone. An image of the remote control will appear. Press the button on your Ultra Boost remote to continue pairing. A blue light should start to flash, indicating that pairing was successful. Going back to the main menu area, using the back arrow on the top left of the screen, you can now choose what mode you'd like to run your engine with. Zero is off, set by default, or you can choose one for economy in towing, two for power, or AI to allow the Ultra Boost to learn your driving style and adjust the tune accordingly. Now let's check out the display function. In display, you can see which mode your Ultra Boost is in, engine RPM, GPS measured speed, location-based atmospheric conditions, boost and common rail pressure measured in volts, MPA, or percentage. Both gauges have a gear icon to change what each can display. Click the back arrow in the top left of the screen to go to the main menu. Now let's check out the information section. Here you can email support at ECU Shop, connect with ECU Shop on Facebook, get support with LINE, or go to the ECU Shop website to search for more information. Additionally, here you can see the location-based information and what build version of the app and firmware you have. If you want to get creative, you can select a photo of your vehicle to appear on the home screen by clicking on the camera icon. Now let's check out how we can edit the maps in each mode. On the right-hand side of the screen, choose the mode map you want to adjust. It is important before adjusting these settings that you have a good knowledge of diesel engine tuning. A laptop icon will appear below the mode you have chosen. Tap it to enter the tuning screen. The top left of the screen will show your engine RPM and the top right your vehicle speed. Middle left is your boost and middle right is your common rail pressure. The middle of the screen will show you the main injector percentage. This can be adjusted by either swiping across the dial indicator or by pressing the plus or minus buttons. Any changes are automatically sent to your Ultra Boost unit. On the bottom left of the screen is the Set Default button to bring you back to the default parameters. Below the Main Injector Percentage indicator in the middle of the screen is the Advanced button. Entering this screen will give you the ability to adjust your fuel based on engine RPM. In 500 RPM increments, you can adjust your injector duration positive or negative 25%. This information is sent immediately to your Ultra Boost unit and is automatically interpolated to obtain smoother driving. Again, on the bottom left of the screen is the Set Default button. Should you want to reset your injected duration parameters to standard, once you have completed your tuning, press the back arrow to return to the home screen. Well, that wraps up the overview of the Ultra Boost app and connecting it to your Ultra Boost unit.